Okay, so I have a news story to share with you guys. It's from People.com. It's about a California mom who was convicted of murdering her three daughters. So I'm going to read this story to you. Tara Fowler writes, and I quote, A 32-year-old California mother was convicted of first-degree murder for killing her three daughters on Monday, People confirms. Prosecutors argued that Carol Ann Coronado slit her daughter's throats and stabbed them in the heart to get back at her husband who wanted a divorce. The Daily Breeze reports, quote, she hurt her husband the only way she can. Prosecutor Emily Spears said during closing arguments Monday, quote, she takes out his children. Spears said that Coronado intended to kill her husband as well, but was stopped when her mother, Julie Piercy, discovered the three girls' bodies two, 16 months, and two months. Piercy wrestled a butcher knife out of her daughter's hands, then called 911. Spears said one of the girls had an accident on that fateful May 2014 day, smearing feces all over the bathroom. Coronado's husband, Rudy, offered his wife no assistance in cleaning it up, which allegedly led her to snap. Quote, it was this potty accident that pushed her over the edge, Spears said. Three different knives were used in the killings, and more were laid out, indicating Coronado was not through with her killing spree when Piercy stopped her, according to Spear. Quote, she intended to take out the entire family, Spear said. She arranged the knives in an overall plot to take out Rudy. The children were discovered laid out on the couple's bed for Rudy to find, Spear said, adding that Coronado made sure they were dead by stabbing them in the hearts. Spear pointed to this as the final proof that the murders were premeditated and not unplanned, as Coronado's defense team argued. The defense said Coronado was, quote, out of her mind at the time of the killings. Attorney Stephen Allen suggested his client was suffering from postpartum depression, quote, she truly needed help and no one was there to help her, he said, arguing that Coronado be convicted of second degree murder instead. The judge ultimately agreed with the prosecution, convicting Coronado of three counts of first degree murder, with special circumstances. Now Coronado faces a sanity hearing, which will help determine whether she should be sent to a mental institution for treatment or be sentenced to life in prison without parole. That phase of the trial begins Tuesday. Speaking with the Daily Breeze Monday, Rudy Coronado said he will testify on his wife's behalf, quote, she lost her mind. She lost her mind, he said. Quote, it tears me apart because it's my little girls that I lost. I lost my whole family. My three little girls. And Carol, she didn't mean to do that. I strongly believe that. End quote. Really? She didn't mean to do that? Knives all laid out and whatnot? Oh, she definitely meant to do it. Anytime somebody's going to kill a two-year-old, a 16-month-old, and a two-month-old, Man, I guess she was really sick of that shit. I mean, there was doo-doo everywhere and she just lost it. I mean, you can't tell me that this wasn't going on for a while. Like they said, you know, the whole postpartum depression thing. You ever notice how when people get postpartum depression or they snap or whatever, they don't say, man, I'm going to go on a cleaning spree or I'm going to go on a reading spree and read a bunch of books or anything like that you know I'm gonna go on a craft making spree and go make a bunch of crafts arts and crafts or something like that I'm gonna go on a painting spree paint a bunch of pictures no they go on a killing spree isn't that amazing that they never just do anything else that's obsessive and compulsive is always something negative just food for thought but you know who will not talk about this story you know who will not ever talk about the story on his youtube channel yes that guy what's his freaking name tommy sodomizer that guy who talks about hair hats and beasties bt 1000s that fucking weirdo would never talk about this story he's too busy with his head up his ass to ever talk about something like this for whatever reason oh that's right because it was caucasian people so of course he would ignore a story like this now if she happened to be a quote-unquote black woman that weirdo would be all over the story so i had to make sure i told you guys about it because the pseudo newsman is definitely not going to talk about it but anyways 
I think this story should be made into a movie. I think that it's it's just so interesting. Especially when you consider the fact that her mother. Now, this is a 32 year old woman. I have no idea of how old her mother is. Her mother could be 50. Then again, her mother could be 60. Her mother could be 65. I would love to know this because if her mother was wrestling knives away from the daughter, how damn strong was she? I mean, here we have this woman right here who just killed three people. So she had to have all of the satanic strength in the world. You put that with the postpartum depression with all of this demonic energy that was flowing through her. And this woman who was possibly a senior citizen basically was able to get the knife away from her or knives away from her. I mean, it's just really interesting. Just a very interesting story. It's like they said, Piercy wrestled a butcher knife out of her daughter's hands and then called 911. I mean, wouldn't she just go and get one of the other knives? It sounds like she wanted to get caught at that point. Maybe she was just tired from all that stabbing. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. All I know is this, this story would have been all over the place if the husband would have done it. And you know, Lifetime will never talk about this story because it was a woman. Well, actually, if they did, they would spin it and say that it was all the husband's fault. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I think it should be made into a movie, but not by Lifetime. Would you watch this movie if... By the way, this is a real story, guys. Anyways, would you watch it if it was made into a TV movie or even a movie in theaters? I would because I think that it would be interesting as a movie, but it's very unfortunate that it happened in real life. I wish it was just a movie. Let me know what you think about it all below. Meat Magazine on YouTube, meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.